All right, guys. So today's video is really, really special to me, and the reason it's special to me is because if you've been, uh, you know, watching my videos for a while or been following me for a while, you would know I really, really like the Earth Rhythm Face Gels. I have reviewed them before as well. I had made a video on my favorite moisturizers, and their face gels were a part of it. Now, without any further ado, let's get straight into the video, and I will share with you all three of their face gels. What's their function? What's the ingredients? in them and everything you would want to know all right guys so i have all three of their face gels here with me the first thing i noticed which i would like to share is that they have changed the packaging and now that they have changed the packaging it has become so much more convenient it's a twist packaging plus this packaging looks really expensive and like high end i love these little you know stampy things they've put uh, on top of the packaging and that's like really really nice feels very high end feels very classy it's a matte finish packaging i really like it and now it's very easy to use and open and everything so i'm really glad earth rhythm listened to the people's opinion about you know the packaging of the gels and they've changed it so now i would start first with their aloe vera gel their basic aloe vera gel let's start with discussing the ingredients in here and i will walk you through the text and everything so I have the box right here the box also has like this matte matte packaging which I really really like now talking about the ingredients the aloe vera gel has 100% certified uh, organic aloe juice as the first ingredient then they have glycerin as their second ingredient then they have xanthan gum phenoxyethanol and um, triethyl glycol the last three ingredients are basically like preservatives. Xanthan gum gives more texture of the product. The more gel texture uh, is what comes from xanthan gum. The last two are preservatives and the first two is what is inside the product. Now I will show you this is what the packaging is like. It's a twist up packaging. It's like this. So sorry. They have this spatula also. A very nice cute spatula. Have this protective layer. When you open it up this is what the gel inside looks like don't worry i would include texture shots of me applying this as well so you can really see what the texture is like how well it absorbs so i will include like close-up shots of the texture as well but uh, for now this is what it looks like and yeah this is a beautiful beautiful product it's a beautiful aloe vera gel formulation that's what it is it's a basic aloe vera gel that i really really like the thing about aloe vera gel is that it has a lot of uses aloe vera gel not only is good for your face it's also good for your hair plus the biggest use for me at least is that when you're out from the sun and your skin is like inflamed and it's red and it's sunburnt a lot of times aloe vera is the quick fix it's the one thing you immediately should go to apply a thick layer of aloe vera gel and it instantly calms your skin down especially the sunburn now talking about the skin types that can use aloe vera gel literally anyone can there's no particular skin type that would you know uh, not benefit from this aloe vera gel has been in our culture has been a product that you know almost everyone uses across all age groups it's genuinely a very very versatile product Product for your face for your hair this is a very good formulation for aloe vera gel and you know drier skin types can benefit from it oilier skin types of course can benefit from it it's a gel the most benefited skin type from these kind of products is the oily acne prone skin type which is the skin type i have i have extremely oily acne prone skin type and i need something really really light and this always comes in handy plus now we are approaching winters in winters what i generally do is i layer up a lot of products like i just layer up one product after the another instead of just using one using something like this in summers is generally ideal because it's very chip chip in that season and then a gel based product generally works very very well in the winters what you do you layer it up i generally use it as the last step or as a step right you know before my moisturizer and this works very very well keeps my skin very hydrated during the day sometimes i just use this after the other skincare products that i've used and this works very very well so like i said everyone and anyone can benefit from this if you are traveling to areas with snow in this season please know that snow can cause like serious sunburns so in case you're traveling to areas like that definitely carry something like an aloe vera gel this particular gel would really be helpful right after you're done playing in the snow and you come back just put a thick layer of this on your face to instantly calm your skin down or even your body with hair 
Aloe vera gel is one of the best styling gels you can ever ever use. Like I'm being very honest, if you're making a tight ponytail and you have flyaways, just take a brush, dip it in your aloe vera gel and just slick your hair back. Works so so well. My mom does that very very often. I personally don't like you know make a lot of tight hairstyles but works so well. If you have no other gel to use, this beautifully perfect for your hair as well. And that is why I really like their aloe vera gel. If you're in search of an aloe vera gel, look no further, get this. I'm telling you, it's genuinely nice. Okay, next let's talk about their Sika gel, this one. This is probably my favorite packaging of all the three. This is my favorite color. It's like the nicest green ever. And then this little leaf, the Sika leaf, this I love this. Again, the same kind of packaging. You'll find the same kind of spatula in here, uh, you know, this product. And again, here it is. It has that naturally slightly greenish color in here. Uh, I do see chlorophyll in here. No other color. Chlorophyll does add some color. It's the same formulation. They did not change the formulation, just the packaging. Even in the other video where I was reviewing this, I mentioned that, you know, uh, the slightest green color in here comes from the chlorophyll. Okay, now let's pull up the ingredients list right here on the box. Again, same kind of box, really matte textured box, matte textured packaging, love it. Let's talk about the ingredients. The first ingredient in itself is Centella Asiatica Leaf Extract. Look, I like a company that's not playing around. I really like that the first, they say it's a Sika gel, the first ingredient itself is Sika, it's Centella Asiatica Extract. You're paying for what? you're asking for you know you're paying exactly you're getting exactly what you're paying for basically you want sika gel first ingredient is sika then we have licorice extract licorice again is a very very calming ingredient that i've always liked to see in skincare products licorice you know sika these are all more korean heavy skincare products and that's where this comes you know that's where i think they take their inspiration also i love that they use sika licorice then we have ginseng ginseng is korean adrak again very very good for your skin very 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 calming ginseng also has these anti-aging properties as well that i really really like to see i love that these are the top three ingredients by the way then we have blackberry extract again antioxidant properties of blackberry are very nice we have calendula extract next which is very very calming right under that we have ashwagandha extract then we have aloe vera juice then we have glycerin then we have xanthan gum which would give it the texture and the last few ingredients are phenoxyethanol triethyl glycol and chlorophyll uh, phenoxyethanol and triethyl glycol are preservatives and chlorophyll is again the agent that causes this to have greenish color the color is not going to be reactive to skin types unless you have like really bad inflammation but otherwise it's not going to react bad does not have fragrance even the aloe vera gel did not have any fragrance added to it which i really really like okay so now talking about the way this particular product feels of course i'm going to include texture shots and i will show you what it looks like once applied to the skin but i'll tell you one thing of all the gels this is my favorite plus this is my most repurchased product from earth rhythm this is one gel that i constantly constantly use i really like sika in my skincare and i just told you i have really oily acne prone skin type so gel kind you know gel based moisturizers are generally my go to now like i said this one does not have fragrance makes it the idle idle product for anyone suffering suffering with you know inflammation or if someone has fragrance allergy generally in really really inflamed cases sika licorice ginseng these are the products that calm your skin down the most but a lot of products in the market have so much artificial fragrance and i always say this that someone with a broken skin barrier or inflammation cannot use products like that but in this particular case with this particular product unless chlorophyll specifically is something you have allergy to I don't think this would react badly to your skin at all. I personally really, really feel that this product you would benefit a lot from. Sika is very calming. So is ginseng. So is licorice. So the way I said for the aloe vera gel, I said that people who are, you know, suffering from a sunburn would benefit the most. With the Sika gel, if you have any active inflammation or like a very bad acne breakout or you've just shaved your face and your face is very red and inflamed from that, 
सीका जेल इज योर पिक दिस इज द वन जेल दैट वुड इंस्टेंटली काम योर स्किन डाउन क्वाइट अलॉट सो आई सफर विद इन्फ्लेमेशन एंड यू नो ओकेजनल रियली बैड इरिटेटेड ब्रेकआउट और लाइक अ बैड स्किन बैरियर क्वाइट ऑफन सो यू नो इन दोज टाइम्स माई स्किन इज वेरी सेंसिटिव टू ऑलमोस्ट एनी थिंग आई पुट ऑन इट इट बर्नस सो दिस इज माई गो टू पिक एट दोज टाइम्स already the last face gel from them is their sea glow prickly pear cactus saccharide hydrating face gel i would read out the ingredients right here from the box here are the ingredients are uh, these ingredients are by the way available online as well as you know you can see them off the website as well but since i have the box it's always more accurate on the packaging so i would read it out so the first ingredient is 100% certified organic aloe juice then we have organic glycerin then we have a birch extract right next to it then we have prickly pear cactus extract then we have bamboo extract now birch extract can act like an astringent as well at the same time it has really good anti inflammatory and antibacterial properties it's very popular that birch extract has this now i'll tell you this if you look up birch extract naturally has menthol that is why this particular product has a very strong mentholy smell and that mentholy sensation if you have really sensitive skin type if you're someone that doesn't react well to the sensation of menthol get very like irritated by it easily uh, i would suggest you use the sika gel instead instead of this but once looking at the ingredient list it does not have any added fragrance to it it does, they didn't add peppermint or menthol essential oils or anything like that in here either uh, they don't have artificial color in here as well uh, i remember they have changed the formulation for this one for sure because i remember in the older one they had color also that made it a little blue they have obliterated that they have removed the color from here and it did have birch extract even then pretty high up but it did not have that strong mentholic kick to it either it has it now i'm pretty sure that they have increased the amount of the birch extract in here as well that is why that strong mentholic sensation kicked in uh then there's prickly pear extract prickly pear is a very very good calming ingredient acts as an antioxidant as well i've liked it before i like it now <laughs> then we have bamboo extract i have used bamboo based products quite often bamboo again is very very calming and at the same time really hydrating if your product has bamboo it's going to be extremely hydrating and this is what this product promises as well then we have water we have saccharide isomerate saccharide isomerate is a type of sugar in here as well which basically means it's going to be very moisturizing and hydrating for your skin then we have uh, then we have citric acid and xanthan gum and again the preservatives and all of that but again we don't have artificial color in here we do Do not have any fragrance in here added this is again the packaging it's very similar to those ones it has a spatula it has this wait i'll just open up the gel and show you it's like this it looks very blue inside it doesn't have color just because of the packaging you can see it on the lid it has no color again yes it smells very mentholy also feels like that but i just explained why it does not have any artificially menthol added to it it does have birch extract though which naturally has menthol that it can feel like it though again like i said if you're someone who cannot stand menthol or that sensation of it if you have a damaged skin barrier or if you have like active inflammation you would benefit more from the sika gel instead of this one this is more for someone who has an intact skin barrier and is looking for a product that would offer you you know intense hydration this is made for them so that is where this product comes into play again i just read out the ingredients the saccharide isomerase the use of glycerin very high up where is the ingredients list right here and then the bamboo extract the prickly pear cactus all of these ingredients are extremely hydrating that was it's meant for if you are someone whose skin is extremely dehydrated you will benefit from this quite a lot okay this does not have as many healing properties as say the sika one or the aloe vera one this is purely for hydration purposes if you have really dehydrated skin this one would instantly plump your skin and give it that hydration boost like i said i would apply this i would show it to you you would see my skin get that instant hydration kick which i really really like and i just would really recommend this to someone who's looking for a very nice glowy hydrated finish to their skin it's amazing if you're looking for healing properties for acne or inflammation definitely check this sika gel and if you're someone that's struggling with sunburns or just needs to you know like just calm their skin down definitely check the aloe vera one so these are their three face gels 
Now, personally, for my skin type, I have extremely, like I said, oily, acne-prone skin type. Of the three gels, my preference for my own skin would be the Sika gel over and over again. Like I said, this is the one gel I've repurchased myself quite a lot of times. I've spoken about quite many times. This is my favorite product from Earth Rhythm in general. I love, love, love this gel. So for my skin type, this is perfect. And like I said, I struggle with inflammation quite a lot because of the amount of experimentation I do for my skin. This works very, very well. So I have explained which gel works for what skin type or what condition please let me know in the comment section below which one of these gels have you tried what do you feel about it if you like these would you be willing to try these let me know what skin type you have any help you need about these gels i'm willing to you know answer in the comment section down below let me know what is your pick and yeah i will see you in the next video till then bye bye